This is the inspiration, background, and overview of the Earl Boyd's project that I have on GitHub. I wanted to have a web page where I could play with uh, algorithms for autonomous objects, and historically they've been called Boyd's from some of the early experiments that were done in like I don't know, like the 60s. I wanted to play with that, but I and, and JavaScript is a great place to play with that in a web page. You can um, use the HTML5 canvas to do easy drawing, and I really like it. But I don't want to code in JavaScript. I, I don't like the environment. I don't like the tool chain. I wanted to use Erlang, which I'm comfortable with. So I wanted to find a web server that could do uh, web sockets. I've used Cowboy before, and it's rock solid, and it rocks. So I used that, and I went through the user guide. And I also, uh, went as I went through this user guide getting started, I also did a lot of these, uh, I created examples of a lot of these things that it's using, patents and constraints and routing and you know requests and forms and, and chunk requests and responses. And you can see that in my Earl WS project. And in that, I started building this WebSocket. Uh, that's originally it was WebSocket, but now maybe it's web server, who knows. And uh, then I once I got this uh, up and going, I broke it off into its own project and called it Earl Boyd's. So I went through the user guide and it was really well written, really concise, really well done. I encourage you to go through it. Getting started is pretty key. If you click on that, it uh, shows you how to get started with Erlang.make and bootstrapping everything and it'll generate releases and, and do all your dependencies and it's very fast. So uh, that's how I got, that's what I was trying to do and then using Erlang and a WebSocket and JavaScript web page. And I went through Cowboy, and then here's what I ended up with. Uh, notes is just some pictures and drawings I've done with a Wacom tablet and Sketchbook Express. And then Priv Static has the web page in it. And then Source has all the different source for the, the animation controller, whatever. And then here's the, uh, you know, your normal uh, Erlang GitHub files. Take a look at the project. I'm on a Mac, obviously, using Mac Vim. So you can see the dependencies I have here. Cowboy automatically comes with Cowlib and Ranch, and then JSX is a JSON encoder decoder. And I'm using Erlang, and I'm using an application. You can see here um, the application file and a supervisor. And my supervisor is a simple one for one that uh, kicks up a bunch of um, child processes. And I'm using my WebSocket handler. Boyd has the code for the autonomous objects. Buffer, buffer is the output from the voids before sending it to the WebSocket so that it gets consistent snapshots every uh, on every uh, uh, timer uh, increment. And then heat map manages the, the heat that the voids generate. And then shape is for taking data from the voids and the autonomous objects and turning it into JSON that can be sent to uh, the WebSocket so that the, the JavaScript on the web page can draw it. Uh, relics the script and the config and a lot of this other stuff is auto-generated by Erlang.make for you, so it's really nice. And as well as this uh, directory where your release is built and the directory that tells you what everything that is in your release and builds the eBIN directory for you as well. So that's the motivation, background, the tools and technology, and uh, the overview of the Earl Boyd's project.